absolute best in the world. We had a tie winner of this fine championship four years ago at Woburn, Arya Jatanagan. Can Suwanapura emulate that performance? Not had the best of seasons on the LPGA. Her best result was right at the start of the campaign, tied 17th in Orlando. Oh, it just needed hitting. We've seen that so often this week. Green's quite slow, and they've had to be because of the high winds. Yes, and this fifth hole is one of the most exposed on the entire course, hard by the Firth of Clyde. But Suhanapura has got its measure. Another view of Lydia Ko. That was a lovely iron shot, wasn't it? down to 44th in the world rankings. The tee shot deserved a birdie. And in it goes. The gap shrinks to just a couple of shots. Two-time winner on the LPGA Tour. It's beautifully done by Co. Traditionally here at Royal Troon, the front nine is where you make your birdies. Not this week, but now with the prevailing wind back, we're seeing flags being peppered there by the likes of Austin Ernst. Maybe a little unlucky that that didn't actually go in the hole, but a lovely shot. Very distinct style Sawanapura has. Look at how open she stands, drops a club inside, reroutes it, but she does the same every single time and produces shots like that. She really is playing some fabulous stuff. As is Minji Lee since the return from lockdown. She's been tied third in the LPGA Drive on Championship, fourth in the Marathon Classic, and now right in the thick of things here. She even reroutes her putting stroke. Do you see that with the stroke? She does everything the same way and doing it quite brilliantly at the moment. Two German golfers have won on the LPGA, Sandra Gall and Carolyn Massel. By the end of today, could it be three? Could pop off. Hold on. She's become a consistent money winner, Caroline Masson. Walking off the third green, pop off enjoyed a four shot cushion. Now that's been reduced to one with Suwanapura charging. Popoff's immediate goal to match the tie's birdie here at the sixth. Sometimes you find when a, a player's out of their comfort zone, they lose their rhythm, but she's still got that lovely, brisk, aggressive rhythm, hasn't she, Popoff? But disappointed with that. She struck it so well that she got too much backspin on it, but. Uh, Really, if she keeps doing that, she's going to be hard to beat. So Anapura on one of my favourite holes at World True in the seventh, sheltered in between the dunes. It's a good looking hole, and that was a really good looking shot. Like so many of the the players on the women's tour, she puts with her left hand below right. 
Well, and she's done it so well this week, hasn't she? Her putting's been fantastic, really has. Look at that after that opening bogey, three birdies. Fist bump from boyfriend and caddy Max, who's a good golfer himself. Played for the University of Kentucky. Lee, I would say possibly the favourite to win this championship. She's ranked eighth in the world. She's won a number of times as we just see Pedersen missing a putt for par and you know she has a tendency to let things like that get her down and you do feel if she could just improve her temperament a little bit she would become a very consistent winner. So talented. Now will the Suana Pura birdie streak be maintained you betcha four in a row good anywhere anytime Mickey yes it certainly is but uh, Lydia Co here for a birdie on nine but you do feel with the two leading players making birdies that she is maybe a little bit too far back on this occasion to mount a a serious challenge. I feel she had to hold that one. Yes, I think exactly the same goes for Massel. Badly needs this and then a really low back nine. Well, that's a start. It's been a masterclass by MV Park. It really has. The, the damage for her was done on the opening day when she shot 77. She's been struggling to catch up, but uh, what a great round she's having today. Very short, the eighth, the shortest hole in major championship golf. But Suana Pura. Just unable to keep that birdie sequence going. It's a lovely view. That one's going well left, and that is well left. That's even missed the coffin bunker. I mean, she will have an impossible shot from where she is. She's got no green to work with. She's got that bunker between her and the green. Now, this is a hole that could really derail the leader but she finds the heart of the green, no doubt to her great relief. See the club wide open. Well, that was about as good as she could do from there. In fact, it was a fantastic shot just to keep it on the green. She's gonna have a long putt left to save par. Now, surely not a two here as well for pop off. Well, there was nothing conservative about that. Gave it a good go. She's not going to... She is. What a par that was. Incredible. I think, Mickey, that's called course management. <laughs> well, that was quite brilliant after such a poor tee shot. on the 11th, Co falls further back. You get the feeling, almost inevitably now, it's not going to be her return to major championship glory. Now, it's been quite around the turn for Suanapura, and on the 11th, there's for par. That's a mistake she could ill afford. Pop off now has a two-stroke lead. Well, she's doing what she does really well. And uh, this is for a 66. It's a joint lowest round of the week by Envy Park. Look at that. 
just that opening round that really did for her. Still finishing under par afterwards, which is fabulous golf. Fabulous is also a descriptive term for Momoko Ueda this weekend. 68-67, yes, to start off it was 275s in those brutally difficult conditions. But the way she's played over the closing 36 holes, that guarantees a top 10 finish. Maybe even something a little better than that. Even so, up top, Popov remains immovable and her two-shot lead could possibly be about to expand. And the reason for that, having dropped a shot at the 11th, Jasmine Sawanapura faces a identical fate here at the 13th. Well, this is a real key pass, isn't it? Drop that shot on 11. Well, that's another one. She's heading in the wrong direction. Chasing pack need to put some pressure on Popov. She doesn't like this spell of holes on the golf course. She's struggled. Ball slightly below Popov's feet there. But it makes no difference whatsoever. She is pin seeking. This is extraordinary stuff. Well, that was incredible. I mean, she got a little bit lucky with her tee shot there, but boy, did she take advantage of it. Always look left, and that's really lie dependent. It could be awful in there. Yes, if that's up against the face, she will struggle to get a stance out of the bunker. Now, can Popov increase that lead after that fabulous second shot? Well, she couldn't believe it. It wasn't anything really wrong. She just didn't see that break. And no damage done. With her nearest challenger struggling at the moment, she's just got to keep making pars. Well, she's got a stance of sorts, but it's not comfortable and it's not easy. Great shot. Yeah, she played that. You can hear her caddy Michelle saying, great shot. It was. That was about as good as she could do from where she was. But she's still got a, another one of those putts left for par. As indeed as Gilman on the 16th. Heartbreaker. This hole now, pretty much a three-shotter. Unlike the first couple of days when it was directly downwind.